22 runs off the over. Make that 28. Now, cricket might be a sport, but it involves a lot of maths. There are numbers everywhere, and a huge amount of data is collected each time the Aussies step out to play. You know, when you're playing sport at the highest level, they look at every single thing to give you that 1% benefit or bonus. Everything that happens during a match, including who scored what, when and how, is recorded and sent here to Cricket Australia's head office. My role is to take all that data that comes in uh, and turn it into information that helps the, the players to improve, helps the coaches uh, make decisions about which players should play and also for the selectors to choose which are our best players uh, in, in the country. One of the things selectors look at when they pick the Aussie team is the batsman's strike rate, which is how quickly they score runs. This is especially important in one day cricket. With only 50 overs in a game, um, you know, there's times through that game you need to score as quickly as you possibly can and we're fortunate in the Australian team, we've got a lot of players that have a great strike rate. Strike rate is the number of runs the batter scores divided by the number of balls they faced times 100. So, for example, say Mia and Sam are in the Aussie team and they made this many runs each in a match. Sam got the biggest score, but who got the best strike rate? Well, Mia got 43 runs from 42 balls times 100, so her strike rate is 102.38. Sam got 65 runs, but he faced a total of 72 balls. So times that by 100, and his strike rate is 90.27. In other words, if they both faced 100 balls, Mia would make more runs. She is better at scoring quickly. A good strike rate for a batter in, in one day cricket, I think uh, it's, it's changed. It's gone from about 75 and now you probably need to strike it around about 85. There is also a strike rate for bowlers, which looks at how quickly the bowler gets people out. Strike rate measures on average how many balls it takes to get a batsman out. And as a bowler you want to try and get a batsman out in as least amount of balls as possible. So how do you calculate it? Well, the bowler's strike rate is the number of balls bowled divided by the number of wickets they took. So, for example, say Mia and Sam both took two wickets. They both got the same number of people out, but how long did it take them? Well, Mia bowled a total of 48 balls, which divided by the two wickets gives her a strike rate of 24. Sam bowled 60 balls, which divided by his two wickets gives him a strike rate of 30. So it took Sam longer to get his two wickets. As fast bowler James Pattinson said, bowlers want to get the batsman out as quickly as possible, but they also aim to stop the batsman from making runs and getting a big score. And you can test how many runs a bowler lets the opposition get by measuring economy rate. Economy rate is the number of runs the batter scored divided by the number of overs bowled. If the economy rate is down roughly around three runs per over, then you're going well. As well as match data, a lot of important figures are collected during training sessions. Every single day the players record their sleep, stress levels, how long they trained for and how hard, Physio and medical testing is conducted. All sorts of cool technology records their every move. You get your eyes tested, you get your body tested, you regularly check weight, skin folds, diet. The ways net sessions are conducted these days, um, there's TV screens and cameras, so after you play a shot or you bowl a ball, you can quickly turn around and there's a five or 10 second delay and you can, you can watch the previous ball. All the information builds a picture that helps the coaches and the players know so much more about how to develop into world champions.